Welcome to this video on English language paper one. This is for your upcoming exam. Um, it's just a couple of tips for you to help you prepare and do as well as you can in the exam. Okay, so I'm just going to go through all questions, questions one to five for English language paper one for AQA. Um, and just give you some tips how long you should spend on each question and specifically what structure you should use. So here we go. Now, the first thing that we forget about is actually reading the extract, okay? So, when you read the extract, you want to spend about 10 minutes reading, okay? Read the information in the box at the top first. So, you get a little box right at the top of your extract, and it gives you some information, maybe some background information, the time it was written in, or who's writing it. Make sure you read that, because it's going to give you, like, a little background Hint something you can keep in the back of your mind as you're reading the extract and it will make slightly more sense, okay? Um, the next two things you want to do is highlight language devices and structural features that you find as you're reading. So make sure you look out for similes, metaphors, things like pathetic fallacy where the weather is mirroring the actual tone of the extract. Um, and then you want to look at the structural features. So one example is cyclical structure where you've got the same thing that's happening at the beginning of the extract and the same thing that's happening at the end of the extract. Other things you can focus on for structure are um, characters, the actual setting where it focuses, zooms in, zooms out of the setting, it changes perspective, all those kind of things. And then as you highlight those language devices or structural features, you can underline it if you want to, if that's easier for you. Just annotate on the side, maybe a word or two, just to say what you think that language device means okay and you want to read this extract at least twice so in those 10 minutes make sure you read the box at the top look out for language devices and structural features annotate whatever you can any ideas you get because what you what will happen is you might forget those really important ideas as you move through the paper okay and then try and read the extract at least twice just to make sense of it okay so now we're going to move on to question one. Now question one looks something like this. It's worth four marks, okay? You're going to have to list four things. So it's four sentences that you have to write down, okay? Now I'm going to suggest you spend about five minutes on this question, okay? Make, make sure that you read the right lines, okay? So they tell you in bold, for example, in this question, from lines one to four. That means only lines one to four okay not line five not the beginning not the end of the extract okay so you've got to make sure you read and pick out the correct lines from where you're looking out for okay now you can highlight underline underline and anything that you find useful in those lines and you are allowed to directly quote from the extract so if it says like for example a character is doing a barbecue you can say the character is doing a barbecue you know it's exactly the same thing um so yeah this one, you have to write four statements, spend about five minutes, there's no specific structure for it. Um, just keep in mind that you have to look at the lines. That's the most important thing for this one, okay? So question two is something slightly different. This one, you are looking at language and how the writer is using language to describe something. Again, they've given you the lines, okay? So in this question, they're telling us from lines five to 15 of the extract. Please, please make sure maybe you, you know, highlight the section lines 5 to 15. In this case, they will give you the actual extract. So I've covered it in a grey box because it's not, you know, this is not exactly the question you're going to get. But it's going to be very similar to this one, okay? Um, now, this one, this question, spend about 12 minutes on, okay? So if your timing is good and you work through past paper questions where you can time yourself and you know you know you know the structure of it you know what you're looking for you should be able to finish this in 12 minutes okay now the structure of this is pele times three so point evidence language analysis and explanation and the explanation will include the writer's intentions okay now again you want to make sure that you are reading the correct lines you're highlighting anything you find useful. And again, you are allowed to directly quote from the extract. So if you just have a look through the um, 
question where it says you could include the writer's choice of so you've got words and phrases language features and techniques and sentence forms so remember that you have all of those options to pick from you know your language devices you know similes metaphors personification onomatopoeia anything that you think is a language device underline it okay and you can use more than one quote for each paragraph okay if you want to do an extended analysis so if you have any questions about this one leave it in the comments down below and i will answer those for you but in general um, spend 12 minutes on this question and the structure is pele la la so basically pele times three okay so you want to have three points you want to have three quotes and you want to analyze it with writer's intentions three times okay now moving on to question three again this is a written answer where you have to have a structure so it's not just four statements like it was in question one this one is all about structure and this question is going to be, you know, pretty much the same for every exam, where it says, how does the writer structure the text to, inter to interest you as a reader? So this one is about structure. So you have to make sure that you're underlining all the structural features as you're going through. And if you don't find any, don't worry, you can kind of pick one and expand on that one. OK, so the structure for this one is B times three. So you pick a structural point. You have your quote, which is your evidence, and then you have an explanation, including your writer's intentions. Now, this writer's intentions, you have to always link back to the original question. So here the question is, how does the writer structure the text to interest you as a reader? So what you want to do is you want to go back and say the writer has done this in order to, you know, make the reader think what or what kind of tone are they you know, giving off? What is the reason behind the writer? choosing and using this structural feature okay now again make sure you read the correct lines this one is in the whole extract so that's absolutely fine um obviously highlight anything that you find useful in the extract you know if you've done this from the beginning when you read in those 10 minutes you should be good to go okay and again you are allowed to directly quote from the extract so you can use the exact well you should use the exact quotes okay so the last, not the second last one is question four. We have one question left, but this is the last one that's based on your extract. Now this one you should spend about 21 minutes on. The structure is Pima and you want to write four Pimas, not three, you want to write four Pimas, okay? So Pima is point, evidence, method and analysis. So you want to, what you want to do is your method can be a language device or it can be a structural device or anything else that you think um, the writers used in order to create an impact or an effect in the extract. So in terms of this question, you're going to get a statement and you have to agree or disagree. Okay, it's 20 marks. You want to spend about 21 minutes. Pretty much the same thing, but you just got to remember the structure. So it's Pima times four, not times three. That's a mistake. Your point, evidence, method, and analysis. Again, you want to include writer's intentions. Now, the final question is your question five, where you have to write a description or a story based on a photo. This one, I always, always, always say spend at least 45 minutes or keep 45 minutes at the end to do this question. Okay. Now, the structure is, you know, it varies between students. So it's up to you how you want to write this one. The only thing I'd say is make sure you have language devices and structural devices and use high level vocabulary, okay? And make sure that your paragraphs are structured in a way that they flow. Now, if you look at the little mountain on the left hand side of the screen, you'll see, you know, there's like six boxes as it goes around. If we ignore the unexpected event, so the second box going up, and we just look at beginning, build up, problem, falling, action and ending. That should give you a good starting point to where you should start off with your story or your description. OK, so there's always a beginning and an ending. You've always got a build up, a problem and then you've got a falling action. The unexpected event is something that you can directly link to your phot photograph. OK, now, if you have any questions about this and, you know, you're unsure about 
what to write, how to write it. If you look at the photograph and you think, you know what, I have no ideas. The only thing you can do or the best thing you can do is pick out certain features in the photograph. Okay, so let's say that you get, you know, just water and you get just the ocean. You don't actually have anything inside of that. Okay, you can't really zoom in on any part of the photo except for the ocean. So pick the ocean and then you've probably also got the sky. Now you've got two things to talk about, okay? You can introduce your own characters. You can pretty much introduce anything that you want and make up whatever you want out of that, okay? So always, always start from the small bits and then build up from there, okay? Now remember this is 40 marks, so you want to spend a good amount of time on this. So 45 minutes is the perfect time to spend on that. Um, if you have any questions about this, please let me know in the comments. Thank you very much for watching and good luck with your English language paper one. Um, yeah, take care.